Well, the reason the Kanji spray toad is um, has gone extinct in the wild is because of human impacts. They are native to a four hectare wetland on the side of a waterfall in Tanzania. So they weren't discovered until they were starting to decline. Um, the only reason they were discovered is because a hydroelectric dam was being built in the Kanzi Gorge upstream of where they're found. But they crashed suddenly and so a lot of people think that it could have either been um, the fact that the dam released a bunch of sediments that were contaminated with pesticides and one of those was endosulfan and that's what we're testing here. And um, another idea is the chytrid fungus which has been a problem for amphibian populations around the globe. I like doing this because um, I'm doing something important for conservation. It's just an ethical principle. They're really unique little frogs. Um, they're one of the few that give live birth. They don't have a tadpole stage. We just need to care about conservation in general. So if we have the capability of saving this particular species, maybe we can actually reintroduce them back to their native habitat. I think that we should, and we don't always get that opportunity. So They've actually, actually already sent a colony back to Tanzania. They've got a captive colony r running at a university there now, and um, the hope is to try to get these guys back in the wild really soon, and, and there's a good chance they're really prolific breeders. They rely so heavily on the spray. They live in the spray zone, so they require 22 hours of misting a day, and so they need to be in um, a wetland habitat on the side of a waterfall. Amphibians are kind of unsung in that they're a big part of the food web. They're a major prey item, especially for animals like snakes. Um, they also take care of a lot of insects in the environment, so they're um, probably important to pest control and, and things like that.